Play no games. What is up friends? Welcome back to my channel. We're just gonna jump right into the video. Today's review is on another synthetic wig. Her name is Kiari and she is bomb, y'all. She bomb as fuck. But um yeah, this is a sensational Cloud Nine with lace series wig, and I'm just showing you guys the typical construction of the wig. Three combs, two combs on the side, comb in the back, adjustable strap, and a whole lot of lace. Um, and then yeah, this is me right here very impressed by all the parting space this lace had to offer i'm talking about 13 by 6 like it's very rare that you would get a nice lace front that's synthetic like this it looks so good but i'm just getting to the install right here is where i will tell you guys i went wrong and i'm going to show you guys exactly what i meant by that in a minute but um yeah i'm using ghost what is this no not ghost not ghost bond this is boho i'm using boho today to secure this lace down i normally use the uh got to be if it's like a temporary install but i decided to just go ahead and switch over between both this is where i went wrong y'all hold on here we go like y'all saw that little split that is why you do not cut your lace dead smack in the middle because yeah <laughs> um yeah i kind of messed it up but luckily i caught it early on otherwise i wouldn't have been able to part it right down the middle and wear it that way on the inside a bitch was dying but i had to play it off <laughs> so yeah but anyways i'm just gonna continue with the install and i'm gonna show you guys how i melt my lace i decided to slow certain parts down that i felt was very necessary for the ultimate like you know melted look um but yeah we're just gonna continue Okay, y'all, this is me pretending to be tired of blow drying when I just turned the damn thing on for two seconds. <laughs> but honestly, you guys will see, I'm going to blow dry my hair a lot, my hairline a lot in this video. Like I said before, this is going to help like the melting process and speed it up because I don't have one of those, um, you know, the salon dryers that they have. You put your head underneath it. I don't have one of those. The blow dry, you just make sure your lace is intact once you start to cut the lace you really don't want the hairline to come up you don't want to have to go over it and all that type of stuff that just helps save time uh also you guys are going to see i'm going to be tying the hair down a lot so in this video you see i'm using just the regular old nike headband is good enough um and yeah tying it down before you <clears throat> tying it down before you start to cut your lace will help initiate the actual melting process of the lace. Do that, turn me up, bro. Cutting your lace is also very important for your install because you don't want it to just be like straight across, which is why I choose to use the razor. That also plays a really big factor on the outcome of your install and how flawless and seamless it looks. So just keep that in mind too. Another really important part of the melted 
um, the ultimate melt look is making sure your lace matches your complexion. And you can achieve this by using a lace tint, or in my case, I'm using makeup. And as you guys can see that, um, it's pretty much doing it justice. So, make sure you guys invest in it because some laces tend to leave a white cast. As you guys saw when I cut mine off, that didn't look too good. So, um, adding your own, you know, lace tint or complexion product will definitely enhance your melted lace look. I'm telling you guys, you don't want to skip this step, especially because some laces are on a thicker side. Like this lace was low-key kind of thick, but the overall look of it, I was pretty impressed by the, out, the outcome of it. So, but, um, sometimes you don't necessarily need to do that, but in cases where you have a thicker lace or the lace just doesn't match your skin at all, you definitely don't want to miss that step. Okay, the final step that will enhance your ultimate lace melt. <laughs> Why do I keep saying it like that? <laughs> but no, the final step, you look you don't even need to do this if you tie your hair down correctly and you leave it on for a decent amount of time in order for it to be melted for real. But I was in a rush because I had to go to class and I didn't want to make um I didn't want to miss out on film time either, but um, there's this shining spray that I use on my hair and I will link it in the comments. I forgot what it's called, but you can definitely find an abuse supply. The only thing you want to do is spray a little bit along your hairline and you will see like anything that looks out of place is going to be removed with that spray. It's very temporary, but I'm telling you like it makes a huge difference. You guys will see when I start spraying on my head, it makes a huge difference in your lace appearance. So those all of the hacks and tips and tricks that I have. Um, if you guys have tips and tricks that you want to share with me, please leave them in the comments because I'm always open to improvement and I know I have a lot to improve on. But baby, let's revert back to this lace because um, this is a synthetic wig. Her name is Kiari. I probably named my child after this damn wig because the name is so cute. And the actual wig and stuff is adorable. Like, I feel like this is my natural hair growing out of my scalp. I just got a fresh relaxer, Dominican blowout, or whatever you call it. And this little turtleneck ain't making it no better because, baby, I feel, like, important. I just feel good with this wig on. <laughs> and um, I really don't have complaints about it, except it does tangle. Tangle City, I ain't gonna lie to you. So make sure you keep it calm and handy with this wig. Other than that, it looks great. The luster is at a very great level because it looks like healthy human hair. So make sure you guys go check this wig out. I got mine from Sam's Beauty Online. You know, I always shop there, so make sure you guys hit them up. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you're aware of when I post another video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms. Um, I will leave those at the end of this video in my outro. All of that will be posted, so make sure you guys follow me on there. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!